Welcome back to Graffy's Game Day Video Hoopla. It's week two. We're back at home here in uh, here in Canberra. A little bit of a recap from last weekend. We travelled to, to Perth and then to Adelaide for two games. We got a great win against Perth, who had an upset win against Adelaide the week before. Gritty win, a great shooting contest from uh, from game from Jess Bibby. Nat Hurst started to find some good form, and as did our bigs. Then back to Adelaide, so flew back there. Uh, tough game against Adelaide. We, we managed to handle some runs uh, in the first half and went into half time with uh, one point up. Having said that, we were smashed in the rebounding contest and just couldn't sustain our efforts in the second half and they ran away with the, the game. We lost Abby Bishop with five minutes to go. That certainly didn't, uh, didn't help us. Looking ahead to, uh, to this week at home, we've got Bendigo, last year's champion team. Christy Harrow, a four-time Olympian, their point guard. It's going to be a great contest. We've got a lot of, all week to prepare for them. Great matchup between Christy Harrow and Nat Hurst, our co-captain and leading point guard. And also in the post, Gabe Richards is an all-star five member from last year. She's, she's a scorer, she's big and strong, and Abby Bishop and Alex Button will have the, their hands full trying to defend her. But we're looking forward to the progress we made over the weekend, a win and getting our first win at home. We'll look, last week we looked at ball screen action on the, on the video hoopla board. This week we're going to look at pin down action, or sometimes it's called zipper action in the NBA. And essentially it's a a pin down screen or a down screen for a shooting type and in our in our system you'd see here our point guard generally is the number one we'd have our shooter opposite the, the side that we're going to direct the traffic to we'd have our big players up let's say this is Alex Button or Abby Bishop and similarly here Alex Button or Al, um, Abby Bishop um, and our other perimeter player whether this is Carly Wilson or it might be even Nicole Hunt or Jess Bibby on this side We'll run some sort of entry action here, which any sort of variations we might go with. We might use the post, we might run some screen action here. But essentially we're coming to this pin down action on the other side. So whatever entry we do here, dribble or pass or screen action, we then end up with the ball back in someone's hands here. Let's say it's the three type. These players are in different positions based on what we may have ran. Now we're running a simple pin down screen for the shooter. So a big person goes to head hunt, the defender of, of Jess Bibby's, who would be here, possibly. Bibby then will often set up a man. She might fake a cut that she's cutting this way. She'll then wide curl looking for a catch and shoot shot off the screen. She might fade out here for a catch and shoot three. She might curl all the way in and take a dribble jump shot. That's pretty much our action. You'll see Jess Bibby score a bunch of points off that. Opposition teams have headaches trying to defend it and come up with many counters to try and counteract that play. That's it for the video Hoopla board. Just a reminder about our game on Sunday. Huge contest against Bendigo, last year's champion team. And just as excitingly, the Actual AGL Media, uh, Actual AGL All Stars versus local media. We've got some Canberra Times people, some Win people, um, some radio people, and we've got Paul Walsh. Um, that's going to be interesting. We've got uh, Cal Bruton. We've got Linda Muir, former Canberra Capitals player from a long time ago. Um, and Andrew Barr is going to pull on pull on a shoe even over an injured ankle. So pretty excited to see that action. Almost excited to seeing us against Bendigo. We'll see you at the game Sunday.